Hey guys, it's me again. Yeah, I decided to just shoot <coughs> part two of my video. What the heck? Because I'm here and um, it's earlier than I thought on, um, what morning is it? Is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. I should look at my schedule because, don't you just love my reading glasses? Um, yes, it's Tuesday. Okay, so anyway, one of the other things that I thought I would talk about in my last video that I didn't quite get to, by the way, I'm wearing my Action Hero Babe shirt from Valerie Waters Workouts. Valerie was here this past uh, weekend. Um, she flew in Thursday night and we did um, some great photo shoots with her and some video on Friday. Uh, then she and I hung out and did some errands and went to see, I almost said Godzilla, went to see Jurassic, um, the movie on Saturday. Crazy day on Sunday, I, the whole weekend was a blur. Um, so I am completely frazzled, as usual, lots to do. Um, and then I leave for Denver on Thursday. So hope you guys will be following me. I hope I will see some of you out there at FitBloggin. I'm speaking and I'm excited. I'm excited about what um, I'm talking about, uh, what my topic's gonna be. I, I had something like come to me that I, I think is gonna be firing people up. So, um, I brought out this morning, you know, there's two things that I thought I would share because some of you guys have been asking me what supplements I'm taking, what food I'm eating. Um, I'm going to go into food um, at another time, okay, on another one of my videos um, because that is the evolution of my diet is, um, that deserves a whole video. So, but a lot of you guys have been asking about supplements and what I'm taking. Now, here's the thing about supplements. A, um, just fixing my headband because you guys know I always have hair issues and I can't stand their little hairs in the back. Mr. Flo, probably should do that. Um, they're getting real, I'm getting really strong. I'm making serious progress in my workouts. I'm very excited. I definitely need a tan though. Um, I digress as usual. Uh, the thing about supplements is I'm starting off with what Whitney told me I should be taking, okay? And then what I have been doing is doing a lot of reading. I think I shared with you that one hormonal book, but I'm also going back. I had originally bought all of the Suzanne Summers books on um, hormonal imbalance and bioidentical hormonal treatment and blah, blah, blah. So I think I have six books total by Suzanne Summers. They didn't make sense to me in the past. Why? Because I hadn't gotten my blood work done. I didn't know. And incidentally, you know, one of these chapters I was just reading last night and this one, this is, I think, one of her first books. Um, it showed me exactly what I talked about before, which is, you know, a lot of you gals and guys are writing to me and saying, well, you know, I'm just going to get a bunch of books and I'm going to research this. And what I told you is, I think you can, until you get blood work done, I think you can just get into this perpetual cycle of research and you'll be more and more confused. I was going through this book last night and there's a couple quizzes in there on, you know, how to tell if you have hypothyroid, how to tell if you have hyperthyroid, how to tell if you're estrogen dominant, how to tell if you're progesterone dominant, how to tell if you're testosterone dominant, all that kind of stuff. And the reality is when they show you, they say, you know, and it's not just this book, it's anything. You can find the stuff online. They'll go, do you have these side effects? And if you have these side effects, you could be hypothyroid. But then you go over here to hyperthyroid and you'll have probably six of the side effects that you have for hypothyroid. <laughs> My neck looks really weird for a minute. <laughs> and then you go over here to hypothyroid and you're like, wait a minute. I could, by what I'm seeing here, I could be hyper and hypo, okay? So until you know what your blood work is, and again, let me stress this with blood work, you have to have blood work ordered by a doctor that is gonna order extensive blood work. You can't get the very basics where they're just gonna test, you know, uh, I, I don't know how to say, I'm not saying it correctly, but, but trust me, there's a difference between a doctor who can order this many tests and get, you know, your, let me, hold on, let me tell you some of the stuff that I had, um, you know, I mean, you need to be looking at your, with testosterone, you know, your TS, your testosterone is TST, but there's also DHT, DHEA, um, 
let's see, da -da 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 -da. Uh, growth hormone deficiency is IGF-1. Again, forget, I'm just reading his notes here. Um, these are the things that you need to have tested. Estrogen, progesterone, uh, I believe you're looking, well, actually, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys my, are you excited, my blood work? Let's talk blood work. But guys, it's, it's a game changer. Um, and forgive me, I think I have two copies of tests, but you know, some of the stuff that he had tested on me, hemoglobin, A1C, TS, TSH, T4, 3, T3, free, estrogen, IGF, uh, I don't know what a Z-score is, um, un momento, um, LC-MS-MS, I don't know what that is, iron, uh, C-reactive protein, DHEA, FSH, insulin, LH, progesterone, prolactin, um, estriol, testosterone, free, bio, what did that, I don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, if a regular doctor orders blood work for you, um, they're not going to test for all that stuff. And until you know a lot of detail, you aren't going to be able to figure out what you need to have fixed. Now, back to the supplement. Um, Whitney gave me a certain amount of supplements that are ideal for me, but what I'm doing is now that I'm reading and consulting with Dr. Riska, probably once a month maybe, um, I'm also going to be asking him, based on what I'm reading in these books, you know, is it smart for me to make these nutritional or dietary adjustments, especially considering my, excuse me, uh, insulin resistance and hypothyroid situation. There's a lot of dietary adjustments that I need to be even extra careful about, extra diligent, um, because clearly that's going to take a lot longer for me to fix that part of my my whole being. Um, incidentally, there are also, or excuse me, not incidentally, additionally, there are, there are other supplements that the more that I'm learning, I can add that also augment everything I'm doing or complement everything I'm doing. So I am going over this with Dr. Riska, uh, but for example, um, you know, that she's talking about human growth hormone. Um, I don't take human growth hormone. I do take uh, Ipamorelin, Samorelin, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, um, a shot of that every night except Sunday, and that is to stimulate human growth hormone, but actual human growth hormone is very, very expensive. But she talks about in here um, some of the things that you can be taking to um, supplement to uh, help increase, help your body increase human growth hormone naturally is L arginine, L glutamine, L ornithine, lysine, glycine, and niacin. Um, in the other book that I read, there were several um, additional things like uh, magnesium um, that I'm not taking right now. I've kind of made a list of all of these things. Now, if you're like me, you might be going, that sounds like a lot of pills and a lot of vitamins. You know, how do you know you need it? That's again, you guys, where stuff like you have to believe in the process, you have to trust the process, you have to have faith. A lot of things like, <clears throat> um, this can be frustrating, but it's also good because, you know, if you consider some of the people that have been there, done that. Look at Suzanne Summers. Look at other people um, that have changed their health around. That are maybe in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and later, and they're very healthy. They're attractive. They're vibrant. They're enjoying life. Um, if they're taking, like, remember in, in that movie Sex in the City, and Samantha was taking all those pills. Um, you know, you might joke about it, but the truth is, it's intangible. It's it's hard to be taking all of the supplements that you take. It's not like you go and you take a supplement and all of a sudden you're like, wow, all of it, you know, wow, I've just lost five pounds from taking that pill. That's not the way it works. It's cumulative. But on the other hand, the more that I'm learning and the more that I'm reading, damn, am I already at 10 minutes? I am. There's things like in all of these books about hormonal imbalance, they talk about the fact that when you are in massive hormonal imbalance, you will get sick more often. You know, you will have colds more often. You will have uh, inflammation more often. And you guys, the past year and a half, I wasn't taking any supplements. I wasn't taking any vitamins. I used to be religious about taking vitamins. And I know historically in my past, when I am religious about taking vitamins, 
I know more now about what I should take. Um, I get sick a lot less, period. And you guys know the past year and a half in particular, um, but certainly you know over the past five or six years, I have been more sick with colds, bronchitis, walking pneumonia. I mean, you name it, okay? Yes, stress can be a contributor too, but that's part of what taking vitamins, eating right, getting sleep, all of this stuff, it, it builds up and it adds up. I notice now that I've changed my diet, now that I'm taking the, you know, these supplements, um, my energy is higher, I sleep better. Um, so you do have to have faith, you do have to research and do quite a lot of research to figure out what you should be taking and why. And, and I recommend that you do that. Um, certainly, you shouldn't be looking to me to tell you what to take for your supplementation. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a trainer, I'm not somebody that can be prescribing any of that. I can just share what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, but really quickly, I will show you a couple of the things that I'm taking right now, and then I'll share with this, uh, I'll share this with you guys on my blog. Again, just for consideration, but because some of you guys are, are asking, and again, it's more than just a multivitamin. Multivitamin isn't gonna do anything for you. Um, so I take, and bear with me, there's a couple brands in here. When I realized I was gonna start taking supplements, I had like a stash. So I wanted to use up what I had first, and then I'll probably stay consistent. I know I'll stay consistent with probably stuff from Vitamin Shop and then Now Foods. Um, so I take, this is magnesium and zinc. I have thyroid energy. I have super cortisol support. Again, this is, this is the kind of stuff that's in particular great for me. Coral calcium, tonal NCLA. Um, those are the things, I have these separated because those are the things that you have to take three times a day. Um, evening primrose oil, um, vitamin D. Um, vitamin D, very, very important. The more I'm learning about that. B complex, hugely important. I mean, nobody says this is important. Vitamin C as well. Glucosamine for your joints. Uh, vitamin E. And then lastly, for the moment, vitamin C. I also take probiotic, although I am doing a little research right now because some of the probiotics say take on an empty tummy and some of them say take with meals. Um, I don't do well with probiotics on an empty stomach. I have learned that. So um, I'm curious to hear from you guys. Maybe you can leave in the comments what supplements you are taking now. If you're taking none, why? Are you taking none because you don't know what to take and you need some guidance? Or are you taking them, not taking any because you think it's all you know intangible and why would I take it, etc. So I'm curious to hear from you guys uh, what you take, why, how long you've been taking it, and so on. And I will talk more with you guys later. I gotta go work out.